hello guys welcome back to the channel in the previous video we have created this form and we have learned how we can create this form and how we can save our data inside our database now let's see how we can upload a file or an image using laravel inertia and react so let's go to our vs code so first thing first let's go and add an image column to our database table by going to our database migrations and to our products table in here let's create a new column with the type of string and give it a name of image and it should also be in a label now let's open our terminal and for first time i will roll back my migration so i will type php artisan migrate colon roll back dash dash step one to just roll back only one table last migration let's enter and now let's run again php artisan migrate to migrate the new changes so php artisan migrate okay it's done now let's go to our view file so let's go to resources js pages and products add.jsx in here in the, our const, let's create a new one with the name of image and set the initial value to null. Then let's scroll down at the end of our form before the button. In here, we will create a new input with a type of file. And on change of this, I will call E and I will set the data to image as an e.target.files0. So this part is also done now let's go and create our controller by going to inside our app http controller and inside our products controller in here i will create a variable with the name of image pad and set it to request file and i will give it the image name the one that i get from here image then I will say to store this inside my storage folder, products image folder, and inside the public folder. And I will assign the product the image to the image pad. So this line of code, it will save the image to our storage. So if I folder, storage folder, app, public, and it will create in here a new folder with the name of products image and save it in here and it will save the path to our database so everything is set here let's go and test our file upload part before that let's open our terminal and in here let's type npm run dev and enter let now let's go to our browser let's refresh here okay now let's uh, add a product with a buying price and selling price now let's choose a file from here for example this file let's click save okay we have been redirected to the dashboard now let's go to our vs code and inside our storage app public as you guys can see it created a new folder with the name of products image and in here we got our image if i click in here I can see my image and also if I open my database and refresh this as, as you guys can see I got my image pad or has been also stored inside my image column. So this is it for this video and if you have any questions write it down in the comment and don't forget to press the subscribe and like button.